we're going to kick off Ag to Asphalt at the Daytona 500 in 2024 with Like a Farmer. And we are going to bring farm families, hopefully the whole family, to the track, uh, extend that invitation, and let them come take a break. Like, come to the race. Yep. Just come to the race and and, and, and experience it. I think that's what's so great about sports and NASCAR is that it's not real. It's just cars racing in a circle, but man, is it exciting when you get there. Absolutely. You hear 36 or 40 of us come by. There'll be 40 (laughs) cars in the Daytona 500, and you hear us roar by. You know, we we take off on the green flag. You're going to hear us all getting up to speed, and you're going to feel that energy starting. When we come back around, it's a different ball game. Yep. I mean, we're 200 miles an hour, bump drafting two and three wide, and I just want families across the country from Daytona to Sonoma, California, whether you, you're growing grapes or almonds, watermelons, citrus, cattle, whatever it is, come and, and take a break. Like, you just come to the race and enjoy the event um, because farming is seven days a week. For, for If you have plants in the ground or animals – breathing you are focused and you have to be 24 involved in that so um you know i think that's that's a simple thing that that we can do um it's something that i take for granted sometimes i try not to but it's just inherent when you do it for your life livelihood 38 times a year it, it just becomes second nature to yep. be racing in all these different states and and races and markets so um yeah we're gonna we're gonna invite them out we're gonna show them a good time and just let them take a break and and enjoy the show I mean, I'm excited to be a part of it. 38 races. We're going to highlight a family farm at each race, and it's going to be fun. Yeah. It's going to be – I mean, hell, they're going to get to hang out with Pat Ross at every race, and yeah. we're going to shine some light on their operation, and we're going to have a good time doing it. So, And like we were talking about before we we jumped on camera, there's just so much to tell about agriculture. There's 100%. so many stories. Yep. And, and – I you asked me earlier, do I consider myself a farmer? I, I, I consider myself more of a consumer because I, I am racing for a living. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't wake up and try to grow the best watermelon right now. Yep. I'm growing up to smash the best watermelon and win the race. <laughs> that is my job. And that is what Love I that. wake up to do. And everybody has to, I hope has that purpose where they wake up with mine is as simple as beating 35 other drivers yep. on, on any given Sunday. Now it just happens that they're the best drivers in the world, in my opinion. They're the best teams in the world. They're the best teams in our sport. And so beating them is really tough. That's what makes Nashville so awesome and a, and a great time um, with everything that's went on for me personally and with our team to, to win. Um, but, you know, we, I have that, that purpose, and, and I can tell the story of the people that are in charge of feeding the rest of us. 